Rebel! Hey, Rebel, come over here! Remember this little school mom that used to teach over in Utah, Rebel? Well, she lives around here somewhere, and maybe if we can find her, we'll have a new boy. Do you think you'd like that, Rebel? Well, supper's over, big boy. Guess we'd better be going. You want to run that horse to death? I'm Sheriff Crabtree. Did you see a masked Jasper riding hell-bent up this trail? Ain't seen no one, Sheriff. Why, he must have taken the other fork down below. Well, he just stuck up the buckhorn telluride stage and killed the driver. I've got to get him. Here, you swap horses with me. Uh, no, sir. Not on your life, Sheriff. No one rides my rebel horse but me. But if you'll tell me what this fellow looks like, I'll capture him for you. See here, you dumb gun loot. I'm the law, and I'm going to take this horse. Can't accommodate you, Sheriff. No, my horse has lost the shoe, and you might lame him, see? Where? What's happened? Well, a mountain must have fallen on me. Why, you dirty horse thief! Sheriff, my eye. Well, I sure can't catch him with a windbroken horse like you. But I'll trail him down if it takes me a year. He can't steal my rebel horse and get away with it. Rebel's hoof prints. Wait till I get my hands on that guy. Stick him up high, you murdering thief, or I'll make a sieve out of you. Why, you doggone old fool! You asked for it, and here it is! Gee 
when? Why didn't you say you're old John Law? Put your gun away. I'll surrender. Come out from behind that horse. Come on. And don't make a phony move, because I'd rather kill you than arrest you, Slug Ratone. Put him up and come on. Come on. You've got me wrong, Sheriff. Jasper, you were after just stole my horse and flagged it down the trail. Well, I'm Bob Grady, a cowhand from over Utah. Wasn't? Hold your tongue. A square built Jasper, wearing a black hat, riding a black horse with a blazed face. <laughs> and that tallies with the passenger's description of the road agent. I'm Sheriff Crabtree of Buckhorn County. And I arrest you for holding up the stage and for the murder of old Mose, the driver. Drop your gun. Turn around. The chair. Turn around. Lay down on your face, you polecat, till I handcuff you. Put your hands behind you. Remember, I am just aching to drill you. Old Mose. The man you killed has been my best friend ever since we come to this country together 30 years ago. Well, gosh almighty, Sheriff, ain't you gonna let me say a word? Why do you fool with me, that fellow you're after is getting away. He stole my horse. By Jogi, if I wasn't sworn to uphold the law, I'd give you to the vigilantes that are after you. I suppose I gotta take you in. Shot dry, eh? You're not so smart after all, Slug Ratone. And you're supposed to be slick. Shot them all away trying to scare off a suit. Look where this guy socked me over the head with his gun when he stole my horse. You're still trying to stall, eh? Wind broken horse through you. Come on, get up. Get on that horse. Slug ought to be along here pretty soon. I can't understand how we got separated. Yeah, it's funny. Come on. I reckon the blacks rested enough so it didn't carry, you know. Common cow hands don't run around with handfuls of twenty dollar bills. Well, we gotta get gone before the vigilantes get here. Looks like Sheriff Crabtree. And look, he's got slugs. We've got to go and get him. Crabtree gets him into town, we're finished. Well, it's a long ways around this rim rock, but if we ride hard, we can head him off before dark. All right, let's, let's go. go. Sheriff, I ain't Slug Ratone. Why, don't you even know what he looks like? Oh, you know nobody's ever seen your face unmasked, Slug. You better keep your arguments for the jury. 
But I can prove who I am. Well, you'll have plenty of time. Well, I don't want the people I know over here to see me running around with a sheriff handcuff. Vigilantes, come on, we're gonna make tracks. No way for you to get out of here. But if you make a move, I'll plug you. I've got to hold him off. This is our only chance. Him, Sheriff. Yes, but that'll keep him out of this ravine for a while. You're sure a rotten shot. Give me that gun, I'll show you some real shit. That chance, you think I want to get in the back? Go away where we can get help. We'll try and make a break for it. Look out, Sheriff, and back of you. We gotta get out of here. And none of your funny business, or it'll be just too bad for you. Hunt. You better get my rifle. Looks like someone was in trouble.
Where's your coat, man? John? They're all off at the roundup. Keep them hangers back, though, to get this man in your house. I'll do my best, Sheriff. Hurry, Betty. Go back to the house, Betty Lou. Your monkey shines, cause I'm just aching to hand you over to them wolves that want to leave you. Come on. Daddy, go at the house. I'll hold them off. Waiting at door. Sheriff, this bunch means business. They sure do, John. You and Billy Lou take the back part of the house. I can't drag Slug Raton around on these handcuffs. Slug Raton? The killer? Yes, caught red handed after killing old Mose and robbing the stage. He sure looks like a tough customer. Betty, come on. We've got a little work to do. Sheriff, let somebody shoot the can. Shut up, I'll bend this gun over your head. Shucks. I can't hit them when they run that away. I'll try this old scatter gun, Dad. Look at him run. That finishes him, Sheriff. We drove him off. Oh, my foolish, John. Them wolves have just begun. They'll be back. Hey, are you? Hey, are you in the house? Sheriff, I want to talk to you. All right. Go ahead and talk. There ain't no log in it. Turn loose our boss, Slug Raton, and we'll leave feasible. Their boss? Slug's own gang. Now I see why you ain't been afraid of them. <laughs> and all the while I thought it was that mob trying to lynch you. Well, how about it? You can all go plumb to, uh... uh excuse me, Betty Lou. Tell them, Sheriff. Don't mind me. Speak right out and tell them where to go. You can all go and jump in the creek. I'm keeping Slug Raton here until he's hanged. 
You learn it, folks. We'll give you two minutes to get out. Just let them start something. We'll show them some real shooting this time. We're sticking, Sheriff. Let them come. Well, we gave you a warning. Okay, boys, let's get in. Sheriff, save your ammunition till the rest of the door. Don't worry. I got just one left, and I'm saving that for you in case that you get in. All right, boys. When I give the signal, we'll rest the door. They're gonna rest the door. Fire right to it when they do. Well, you better say your prayer. Sheriff! Now, one more rush at that jaw, you bandit, and I blow the head off and slug right home. Get it. on fire. Hey, you in the house? Yeah, what do you want? That ain't the sheriff's voice. We got him, Gene. Ah, you ain't the sheriff. The sheriff's dead and we know it. Turn Slug loose and we'll leave. You got the sheriff, but he killed Slug before he passed out, so you can have your boss now. Slug Ratone, you murdered Sheriff Crabtree. Son, he'll be all right. Why, Bob Grady, what are you doing here? Never mind that. I'll tell you later. Take this gun and fire a few shots out the window at those banners while I get your dad out of here.
Betty. Betty! Are you all right? Yes. My father. Oh, Dad. He's all right. Where's your nearest neighbor? I've got to get help. Duke Craven. His ranch is five miles straight down the valley. You can't miss it. Don't worry about these bloodhounds. They won't bother you. I'll draw them off and then head back to the Craven Ranch. There goes the fellow that killed Slug. That's giving us the last thing we ever do. Are you feeling better, Dad? Oh, I... I'm feeling all right, honey. Now, don't you worry. Everything's going to be all right. With you. Well, I would pick on you. Empty boys, we got him. Going. Yes, I'll have to walk, and how I hate that. Rebel! 
Why, Rebel, you old bum, how are you, boy? Jerk, I'm glad to see you. Look, boys. Go with the Joneses, get the boys. We'll have a little necktie party. What do you say? Fine. All right. Let's go. You wait here. I've got some work to do. Get him there, boys. Get that gun. Get him. We want to string him up for an example to the rest of the road agents. Come on, fellas. Get ready, fellas. Here he comes. Good night, Let's get to it. Good job there. Good morning. 
I'm just a cowpoke from over Utah way, looking for a job. And what were you sneaking around Duke Craven's place for? I wasn't sneaking. I saw my white horse tied up there, and I wanted to know how come. What, that white horse? Well, that white horse tied there belonged to a bunch of outlaws we've been hunting. This stranger must be one of Slug's gang. I don't belong to Slug Raton's gang. But when you fellas jumped me, I thought you did. Stand him up, let's have a look at him. Get up, get up, get up. Well, a stocky, square-built fellow, eh? Why, say, this fellow answers to Slug Raton's description. I'm not going to stand for everybody calling me Slug Raton. Who else called you Slug Raton? Why, Sheriff Crabtree. Well, this fellow claims to be a stranger, yet he knows all about Slug Raton and Sheriff Crabtree. Boys, there's only one answer to it. Is he the slug or one of Slug's gang? We know. Hey, wait a minute. Men, we started out to catch these road agents. We've got one of them. Now what are we going to do with him? Take him out. Take him out. Hang him. Wait a minute. We can't hang this fella. It's against the law. We got to turn him over to Sheriff Crabtree. Yeah? Well, if we turn him over to the sheriff, some lawyer may get him off scot-free. I'm in favor of making him an example for all road agents. What do you say, boys? Well, it seems to be almost unanimous. What do you say, Sam? Are you going to trail along with us? You boys are set on hanging him. I'll trail along. But it's a mighty risky business, breaking the law this way. All right, Tex, we'll get a rope ready. Hold on. Yeah. If we're going to make an example of this fella, we ought to hang him where everybody will see him. Hardly anybody ever passed along this way. Well, that sounds reasonable and sensible. This neighborhood is a mite out of the way. Where'd we better go, boys? Wait a minute, boys. He wants to say something. Take the gag off. Let's take him out of here and string him up. Now what is it? If you're bound to string me up, there's a swell cottonwood over at the records place. I'd sure love to be hung there. All right, shut up. That's a darn fine tree at that. Hey, as long as this fellow's got to be hanged anyhow, we might as well let him die happy. Okay, boys, take him over to the Richard place for the ceremony. Huh. Yeah, let's Rope it. this wildcat good and strong. Boys, don't be all day. I guess that'll hold this longhorn. This rope when I heave it over there. Hurry up, let's get it tied up. Hurry up, 
Try it fast now. Don't shoot, Miss Betty Lou. We're friends. Our friends don't wear masks. What's happened over here? Why? Why, Duke Craven. I know your voice. The sheriff brought Slug Raton here last night, and Slug's gang shot up and burned down my place. Well, we just caught that Jasper Slug Raton, and we aim to hang him over there. Pull it up tight now. Bob! You'll do nothing of the kind because that's not Slug Raton. Hey, Betty! 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 Pull it up, Bill. Take that rope off his neck and... But, miss, this fellow slug Raton, the killer. Miss Betty Lou, there's only one way to handle these killers, and we aim to do it. Don't, Dad. If you're sure he's slug Raton, why don't you take him to the authorities in Buckhorn? Sheriff can't be located. He's out hunting slugs now. Why, the sheriff's dead. What? He's over at my place. What? Yes, and he's handcuffed to the real slug Raton, who's also dead. Where did you get him? Oh, so you've seen him before. Well, who is he? He's not slug Raton. He was with the sheriff. Dad, he's the man who saved our lives last night. Go on, John. Tell us who he is. Go on, talk. Who is he? Who is he then? Well, he's just a cowboy that stopped over with us last night. That he sent him to your place for help. It's the truth. His name is Bob Grady. I used to know him when I was teaching school in Utah. You've heard me speak of him, Duke. Yeah, I've heard you speak of Bob Grady. But there's no way of knowing that this Jasper's real name is not Slug Raton. Now, how do we know it? Yeah. Well, if he's not Slug Raton, he's one of the gang. And we're going to hang him anyhow. Yeah. Sure, what do you say, boys? Let's hang him. Then get it over. Let's bring him up. This man is not Slug Raton. Neither is he one of his gang. And no one is going to hang him. And why not, Miss Betty Lou? This is why not. <laughs> I'll shoot the first man that makes a move. Untie him, Dad. But Betty... Untie him! I don't think you got nerve, but I'm going to find out. <laughs> Bob! Bob! Dad! Dad! Let's get him down! Oh, oh, get him down! Untie him! Oh, Bob, where's that you down? I can't do it, Betty. I can't reach it. Rebel, come here, quick. I can't make it. Uh, oh, no Untie his hands, Betty. Untie his hands. Boy, what a close one that was. Gee, buddy, if it weren't for you, gosh, I don't even want to talk about it. I want to thank That's you, Mr. That's all right, Slug Raton. Last night you saved our lives. Now we're even. But I want you to get off my ranch and never come back. But, Dad... All right, Betty. Come on. Betty. You don't think I'm Slug Raton, do you? 
I don't care who you are or what you've done. You're still Bob Grady to me. Of course he'll deny it. But he came here last night handcuffed to Sheriff Crabtree. And the sheriff himself told me his prisoner was Slug Raton. I just found out who Slug Raton is, and I'm going to get him and clear myself around these parts. You know him? Who is he? It wouldn't do me any good to accuse this fella. He's supposed to be a respectable rancher. Wait, Bob, I'll go with you. But Betty, you can't do that. Betty, if you go away with that killer, I'll move heaven and earth to get him hung. You'd better not go, Betty. Who's going to stop me? Come on, let's go. All right, if you insist. Dip. Howdy, Carter. You ain't in a hurry, are you? Oh, well, yes, I was just going I to... I heard you had a little excitement down here last night. Oh, yeah, I heard about it this morning. It uh, seems like uh, some vigilantes caught the outlaw Slug Raton and strung him up. Mm-hmm. That's quite interesting, Duke. Maybe you could tell me a little more. See Sheriff Crabtree not being on hand, it uh, kind of makes it necessary for me to get all the details. Well, I don't know any more about it than you do. Anyway, I'm in a hurry. I'm going to town. Well, I'll be seeing you, Carter. Now, just a minute, Duke. I told you I was in a hurry to go to town. Oh, this ain't going to take very long. I just want to talk to you a little more. Go on, tell me, Bob. Who is this fellow? I don't want to say just yet, but I've got my suspicions. Why, it looks as though we were heading toward Duke Craven's ranch. You're just wasting my time. I've got some important business in town, and I'm going to be late as it is. Oh, you can put that off till tomorrow. Besides, I kind of figured you'd jog along with me while I do a little checking up. I told you that this business was important. Anyway, it's the deputy sheriff's job to round up this gang, and not mine. Few more of these hangings that do this country some good. Then maybe the road agents would get out of these parts and stay out. Good morning, Miss Betty Lou. How are you, Mr. Carter? That just first slug right on. Hold on here. If there's going to be any shooting around here, I'll do it. I better pull your teeth. He's not slug Raton. He's Bob Grady, a friend of mine from Utah, Mr. Carter. Your fine scheme didn't quite work, Duke. No one was hanged. You don't believe what this girl says, do you, Carter? It seems to be quite a difference of opinion around here about this slug Raton gent. I think we'll consider the evidence kind of peaceful-like. Reckon I can get you all the evidence you need, Sheriff. He 
chief out of this, Sheriff. That's about three socks I owe this hombre. Four bit from me to stop a good fight. Come on, Bob, give it to him, give it to him. That's the boy, go to it, come on. boy. Come on. Give it to him, Bob. Come on, little boy. Boy, that sure was some fight. Sheriff, this hombre over there is a the guy that hit me over the head and stole my horse. And he is the real Slug Raton. And here is the evidence to prove it. Young fella? The state of Colorado owes you a big reward for the capture of Slug Raton. The only reward I ask from the state of Colorado, I've got right here. Now, don't be too big-hearted, Bob. Remember, we're going to need a new house. <laughs>